what happens if you put your hot dog in a overclocked server grade fan? What happens if you put your finger in a server grade fan that's also overclocked? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. So first off, let's overclock a regular Noctua fan up and put a carrot through it to see what happens. And then we'll put my, my sausages through it too. So uh, first off, just two things you need to know. Fans are rated for two, have two numbers that they're rated in. And I'm gonna match those numbers first to this, try it. And then we're gonna overclock it and see how much performance we can get out of finger cutting. Now, I think this is the first time on the channel that we've had to wear protection, guys. So, um, you know this is gonna be good. So starting off, standard little uh, situation here. Yo, that kind of that kind of didn't look too good. That took a, I got some carrot on me. It took off the tip. It's actually a pretty clean, uh, clean cut there. So, uh, Noctua fans, don't put your tip in the uh, fan. Well, uh, next up, let's uh, let's try the sausage. I'm not even gonna ask how in the world you can get your um, your uh, hot dog stuck in a computer fan. Uh, but sure, 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 sure. So uh, let's let's try the sausage. Um. Gotta wear your protection, guys. So, uh, normal, regular sausage. And, uh... Ooh! Ooh! Um... Yeah, that's a chunk out of the sausage. So, a point of the story is, with a regular Nocta fan, well, fan uh, you still don't want to put, um, your hot dog in that either. I'm really gonna be interested to see what happens when we get, like, this fan. This fan goes 15,000 RPM. This thing will chop anything off and I'm waiting for it. Let's overclock it now. Okay, this is about as comfortable as I feel doing it so far with this fan. Let's try the uh, sausage now. Yeah, there's just carrot everywhere, what the heck. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit more. Double the voltage, guys, and double the rated current. Clearly, 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 you don't want to, um, stick your finger in there. Uh, we've pretty much doubled the rated speed for the sucker. Ouch. We've, we've already, already nicked off a good bit of my, uh, my finger. So, uh, let's upgrade to the, the sausage. Uh, let's see what happens when we put the overclocked fan in the sausage. Oh! Woo! Whoa. Don't let go of it, y'all. Oh, well, that's why you wear protection, guys. That's a nicked up sausage. Uh, if you want to know, I have sausage on my glasses. Wear clothes when you build your computer. Uh, and when you turn it on for the first time, don't put your sausage anywhere near it. So we've had our fun with a very, very much overclocked Noctua fan. And uh, surprisingly, Noctua fans can go up a bit more than they're rated for, which is fair enough. Uh, these fans are, uh, surprisingly kind of sharp, so it makes sense that these guys cut a little bit. This, this right here is a little, I think it's a, I think it's like an old GPU cooler. Um, this thing surprisingly goes up really fast, and the worst part is, out of all of that, is that the edges here are extremely sharp on this fan. So that means if we went to town, I honestly think we could saw through a hot dog. So let's 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 see what happens. Smells like hot dog, like cooked hot dog. That's that's the funny part here. Yeah, I don't want to get my finger near this. Oh, and in case I didn't tell y'all already, y'all shouldn't be trying this at home, as I do it. But let's take your sausage and just say you know your fan accidentally drops. Eh, that's not that bad. Okay. I mean, you've got a couple nicks. I mean, it's not as bad as the the Noctua fan, which um you had a a, a shortened. There you go, you guys have seen it, what happens with the, the sausage without an overclock, and um, it's not gonna do anything to the carrot. Time to, uh, oh yeah, overclock it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we are, we have a modified cutting tool. Sausage, just accidentally bumps it. Yeah, so point of the story, boys, uh, and I say boys because we're on the sausage, but don't put your hot dogs anywhere near, um, an overclocked fan for sure. Uh, let's try the carrot now, though. 
Yeah, it doesn't really do anything on the carrot, surprisingly. So clearly the uh, small sharp fan uh, presents a, a painful danger, but I don't think you'd be worrying about like losing your finger from this. The next one we have is a little server grade fan. Uh, this one has, I would say, even sharper edges here. Now let's put this back down to the rated voltage. This is a five volt. Okay, it's a five volt fan. You can't really hear it. This is what it's rated at. And I'm sure if you put your sausage in there, it would hurt a little bit. But it really didn't do anything. It just kind of nicked it a little bit. And I mean, we got pieces of sausage here everywhere. That's gonna be hard to explain. And I'm sure if you put your carrot in there, I mean, it's gonna take a little bit off, but you'd have to really put your, your, your finger in there a good bit to uh, have any damage. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time that we go through, overclock the fan up a little bit and uh, see what happens when we do that. So uh, this is rated for five volts. I'm gonna put this at 15 volts and uh, see what happens. Oh yeah, we need this, oh yeah. Yeah, this thing, we're gonna put this up to 24 volts. I wanna see that. We've overclocked it five times, oh, three times. I can't, if I can do math. Three times the rated voltage. Uh, let's, uh, and I'm, I'm not leaving current on here pretty much. It's not running into current issues. So uh, let's, uh, Try the carrot first. Uh, yeah. Carrot, you'd have a little bit of damage. Um, let's try uh, putting the, the grass in here. You know, this isn't uh, as fun as I thought it'd be. We need to up the voltage a little bit more. That definitely doesn't smell the best. Um, so I think we've we've maxed out the fan. I think I found the max uh, that we're gonna get this fan to go. Yeah, definitely. Um, so let's go through and now try uh, with the uh, fan maxed out to see uh, just 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 what happens. Um... Yeah, definitely your sausage would not be looking the best at the moment. Yeah, your sausage would really be having some issues. Let's try the carrot. Let's see if we can gnaw off this little edge here of the carrot. So, uh, point of the story is, uh, I think this thing is, uh, really had enough. Yeah, the, you know this is overclocked when it's like hot as heck on the back. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, um, that, uh, that did a good number on our, on our, uh, our carrot and our sausage, boys. Let's uh, let's let's see what happens when we uh take the grand finale. I looked down below and you're not subscribed. You better subscribe, cause uh, we're we're uh, we're doing the last one. Yeah, this thing I have to watch out, cause this is the one that will um seriously uh, this is really dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to yeah, I'm going to put the fan, attach it to the table. Like I'm literally going to attach this one to the table. Don't even that's not even gonna hold up. Well, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do this anyway. So let's put this down on 12 volts just to show you kind of what we're looking at here. And if I was just to put the, uh, the regular sausage in there, just show you what happens. That's just with um, not even overclocked. Uh, that's what your sausage is gonna look like. Let's do the, uh, the carrot. That's looking like you'd you'd really be missing a good bit of your finger. Seriously, I think you would have a bit of an issue. So let's overclock now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. I'm gonna put this up to, put this, yeah, let's try this. <laughs> Yo guys, that, that chopped the tip right off. Um, that was clean off, y'all. Y'all really gonna have an issue if you... Yeah, just just don't do this. I'm doing it for you, so you don't have to. Try the carrot, and I'm not even done overclocking. Holy crap! Yeah, guys, um... Holy crap. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how high it goes. We're getting to the point now, I don't want to be near this. I really don't. I want to be as far away and like holding this on a stick at this point. Okay, real quick. First test, everybody. Yeah, that's gonna put a hole in my table at that point. I don't think there's much I'm gonna be able to do with that. 
Let's, uh, we've overclocked up, uh, a bit. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just gonna mash it as hard as possible. Like, you man, you were just going for it. And, uh, let's see what happens. Point of the story is, um, well, I mean, you're gonna have an issue. Let's try the carrot. And, um, yeah, you'd, uh, you'd be cut quite a bit. That's with the, the, the final finale fan overclocked a bit. So this is double the rated. Make sure this is still secure. Yeah, I think I just fried the fan. I think that is the fan itself. I think the fan's done. I literally think that fan is done. F in chat for the fanboys, but I... Nah, boys. We, uh, we were not able to, uh, revive this sucker. This sucker has seen its last day, and it was overclocked, and it was pretty glorious. I've got to say that. This is quite the mess. But what happens if you take your carrot and put it in a fan? Well, um, you lose a good bit of your finger or your carrot. Um... What happens if you decide to just put a sausage in the fan? Well, you're going to also lose quite a bit of um, your sausage. Point of the story is this. Um, fans are dangerous, especially server fans are pretty dangerous. And it looks like this one has seen its last day. Definitely, definitely would recommend not putting your finger in one of these. I'm surprised that the blades didn't break at all but they've certainly seen their day. Don't put your sausage or finger anywhere in here. I was thinking about putting my finger in here at the end of the video, but uh, I guess that didn't happen. 